What's up guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own custom thumbnail with two simple apps known as PS Touch and Eraser. So we're going to start with Eraser. This is if you want to um, take the background off of one of your pictures. And what you want to do is get a clearer background like this. I'll go here. So we'll go like this, crop half, crop off half my arm, you know how it is. And then you go to auto and just let that do its work. Bam, bam. And sometimes it'll take like your skin off. There's a repair button, so don't worry. And now we'll go like this and zoom in with two fingers. And just do that. You can make it bigger and et cetera. You'll really get used to it within the first few you do. And now we'll do manual and just erase all that extra stuff. All right, so that's cleared up that. And just to make sure you can go here. Oh, geez, I forgot that one part. See, everyone makes mistakes, guys. All right. Oh, Jesus, man. I'm not the best at this, as you can see. Take steady hands. All right, let's see. Perfect. Now let's move on right to the next segment on PS Touch. Okay, so now we're into PS Touch. And I'm just going to show you the thumbnail I made for this video, actually. So I'm going to go here. So I did this, how to make a custom thumbnail. And that's pretty much, it's really simple. There's only a few layers in that. And um, I'm going to recreate it. So we're going to go blank document. Go 1190 and 693. Cause you want to go a little bit under the required size because otherwise it'll say error because the size would be too big. Click OK. Add a background. So go to photo layer, library, gallery, red background. What you want to do is zoom out and then resize it to the picture. And it'll resize right onto there. And then we can add a bunch of colors to it and everything. So we're gonna add another layer of photo. Add. So we're gonna add, not a photo layer actually. We're gonna add a empty layer. Then we can go, this is effects for each. All right, so now we're gonna add some text. Controls are a little complicated. But they're very easy to get used to. So we're gonna put that there. Then we don't, I'm not gonna make another layer for this. Jesus. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna add And then move it over here. Perfect. Now I'll just demonstrate some of the effects we can do, including glow. I'll change the color and make it blue. Wait a minute. Now, what you want to do, double click. It might sound weird, but double click. Like, see how it says blur, double click that twice so you can move it back and forth. If you don't, it, for some reason, it doesn't work. Then. Actually, I'll show you more with my actual face. I can do that. That'll look pretty cool. Oops. I almost. You can actually take away. You can't delete certain layers, so you just click the little sucker right here, and then you can um, hide them. So let's see, let's add HDR look all the way up, bam. And that's going to wrap up this episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it if you um this actually helped you. I'm going to leave a link down below to get PS Touch in case you guys don't have it already or you don't know how to get it if it's not on your device. And I'll see you guys on the next one.